Hi, my name is Madeline Luffy. I am starring in The Girl in the Cornfield 2 as Tiffany, and I'm making this video for my friends at Nerd Rage News. Now, I love horror films, and my favorite horror film trilogy is Scream. I just, I love it. It's a great thing. Um, I'm also very interested in sci-fi movies, as well as sci-fi TV shows such as The X-Files, and I also love Doctor Who and Firefly, as well as, well as many others. Okay, Madeline, what does horror mean to you? Well, when I watch a horror film, I don't really see it as very scary and frightening. I see it as the writer and the director portraying their creativity through a movie and through their own character that they created themselves. So I, I, I deeply appreciate that and I, I love how it's just, it's very, it's always original and like, you, c you can't always have the same character over and over. Now, in a, in a way, you could technically say that horror is an art form, and I, I deeply appreciate that as an art form. <laughs> Great. Do you believe in ghosts? And if so, tell us about an encounter. Okay, so I do believe in ghosts, um, but I myself have never had an encounter, but I believe that that ghosts do that the ghosts are here <laughs> among the earth, um, but I, I don't believe that they're very common, but uh, I do believe that other people have seen them, and I do believe that they have encountered and spoken to them. Um, uh, they, I believe that ghosts are spirits that have not moved on yet, and for one of two reasons, they don't want to yet, and they don't want to leave the earth, or or someone on Earth is still holding on to them, and that doesn't and that doesn't let them until they can finally realize and accept that this person is gone. So, yeah. Okay. If you could be any horror villain, who would you be? I would be Jack Torrance from uh, The Shining. Now, I would love to be him because if I was a murderer, a murderer, which I am not, <laughs> but if I was, he had a perfect place for a murder. It was secluded from all other, from all of humanity pretty much. Uh, there was like literally no one for miles and miles. Um, there were many places where he could have, where he could have killed his family. Um, and I'm just very disappointed that he, that they still got away and he didn't do it. But, <laughs> um, what I would do differently is first of all get rid of all the phones because phones are an escape route pretty much you can call anyone and if you just say hey uh, this person is trying to murder me, murder me can you please help me they would pretty much help you and anyone would help you um, second you you need to make the victim feel secluded helpless and alone and he really didn't do that now you need to you need to kind of trap the victim. You can't let them run away. You can't let them escape. So you need to stay away from all um, exits, doors, rooms, and uh, and stairs. Stairs is a very good one. Now that 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 helps the victim uh, escape, and it helps them feel more safe, and it helps them like at least try to get away from them. Now, uh, sort of in the in the Shining, his wife locked herself in the bathroom, but the thing is he had the axe, so it kind of helped her feel more safe, and it helped her feel, and it helped her son escape. Now, now you, what you need to do is you need to, the victim has to feel like they are kind of trapping themselves. You can't really, like, you can't trap the victim. You need to make the victim feel like they are trapping themselves, which adds to the fact that they are very scared, which helps their vulnerability. Um, and lastly, he just needs to just do it better. Like he didn't he didn't murder that he didn't attempt to murder them very well. You know, he was just walking around with an axe. It's like, well, obviously you're going to murder me. What you need to do is you need to be sneaky about it. And you need to be very subtle in what you're doing. Like you can't just go around like holding an axe and then just not expect people to like just get really scared and, you know, just say, "Oh, you're going to murder me." Okay, well, I'm going to run away now because it's just very obvious. So you need to be very subtle about it. So if I were Jack Torrance, I would do all of those things better 
and uh, that, that is a very ideal place for a murder, so that's why it would be him. So, thank you.